Now mark off, mate. Remember, when the harpoon hits, the monster's coming after me. That means I need you right up there, right in its face. Otherwise, it's curtains for me. Are you the bravest man here, Griffin Halsey? To harpoon a monster? Bind yourself to it. <laughs> I think you are. Well, I'm bloody suicidal if me mates aren't backing me up. You get it? Do not worry. When the monster is hooked, he will find mine. Lightning. Death before him. Now that's what I like to hear. Let's get boots on the ground, team. <laughs> Always like listening to the dropship conversations. Real talk, though, this Griffin has the best skin. I love the fact this, that that skin actually gives him a pink mustache also. Just like the icing on the cake. But hello, everybody. Diddly here. Been a minute. Played Evolve. Have not streamed it either in a while. Just been busy. But got to squeeze in a game today. And gonna be rocking Kala. Who I consider probably the most controversial support. A lot of people either tier her as an S tier. Or tier her as a, you know, D tier. There's no in between for this character, unfortunately. And for good reason. She's really... She's really like a niche kind of pick. Like, you, you pick her specifically for chase comps. That's, that's where she shines the most. But even so, even those types of times, it seems like she, other characters do the better. Like, you know, Sunny with the jetpack boost just keeps Griffin on the monster's back. But anyway, looks like I'm far back here. Uh, perk-wise, I did actually not sure what kind of perks to go on her. So I went with Beyond the Grave, because I think it's one of the best perks she has. Let me get her first shield real quick. Actually, look at this. Gotta hide it. Uh-oh. She actually got Rogue Val down. Interesting. All right, I can get that. But yeah, so perk wise, I'm not sure what to go with her. I usually go, I go beyond the grave at tier one, and then for the tier two, tier three, I will reload her. So reloader, reloader should help get my all my cooldowns back. My weapon should pretty much help me a lot. And I'm not using the armor reducer because I don't have any armor. I don't believe it. My teleporter's over there. I don't let it go to it. But yeah, so I went with Reloader Reloader. Just, you know, helps me get my equipment back, helps me shoot my beams faster, get my... I think it helps reduce the cooldown of my ultimate. I don't think so. But I think I heard someone say that once. But yeah. So go with Kala. Why is she controversial? Again, a lot of people just consider her S tier. I honestly just consider her, you know, D tier. I don't think she's great. Because I know a lot of people will be like, oh yeah, you know, she's great as a chase cop. But, you know, chasing is is great and all, but what about in actual fights? In fights, she pretty much just shines by, you know, attacking the monster, really. There's not, there's not really much else she can do. Like, unlike Bucket, who is pretty good throughout the entire game. Cool, instant cooldown reductions for his entire team is really strong. Helps the assault. Helps the medic, especially. Really good. Or, you know, uh, Sunny, who is the best support in this entire game. What are you doing, Kara? Jesus, I need to beat this guy. You guys have really loud uh, mics for some reason. Alright, cool. I don't know what he said. Why am I, what am I doing? Dome ready. I think he probably thinks that I should be placing uh, teleporters down or something, but I have him. I don't know where the monster this is, so... Creature is typical here. Yeah, I anyway. Why they needed us. Yes. Teleporters are pretty good, but not as com not as commonly, I guess as, no, I don't know if as commonly is the right word, but not as good as other support abilities, you know? She really only shines in chase comps. Not a bad thing, obviously, but I wouldn't, I would, because of that, I would never consider her, you know, S tier, like how so many other people want to tier her. Oh, I saw that too late. See if I can place this. Can I do this? Maybe. Nope. Oh boy. Oh, you destroyed it. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna place this here. Raise it up. Got it. Alright, terrific. Well, I'm not too far, so I should be okay. Now she's forced to focus on somebody else. Oh, wait, she didn't destroy the teleporter. She didn't destroy the teleporter. I can go right back. So the monster completely forgot about the teleporter, I could just teleport right back. Usually they destroy it. The Wraith does actually doesn't have a good set in order to really destroy it. And no one uses my teleporter. There's another reason why I call is not great. 
People just don't use the teleporter. It was up. No one destroyed it. But she was able to force the rogue valve down, which is not great. And our support went without getting healed. Yeah, there's, there's no way we can do it and save him. I do like her auto attacks, though. Kala's auto attacks are pretty good. They do a pretty good amount of damage. They home on the monster, so you don't have to aim at all. So if you're a potato like me, you know, no real uh, skill required when it comes to shooting these things. But yeah, so as I just as you just saw, they don't use teleporters, man. You're especially in pub matches. Like you have to remind people that to use your teleporter. You really do. I should probably place one on the opposite side of the map. So as soon as I get on the opposite side, I will go ahead and place one. But uh, hopefully they actually use it. Because I don't know if they're going to use it. So I'll see if these home in on them. No, it's not. Okay. He's, he kept going. Or she kept going, excuse me. Wraith is a female. Is that going to get me? No, he's not going to get me. He might still come for me. No, he's not. Okay, cool. I like the way this Wraith is playing. I like it. Maybe get him. Okay, so I could place this. Let's place this one. And our trapper is dead again. Monster dome. Can I not place it here? Oh man. Not looking good for us. Okay, let's use the armor reducer. Oh wait, it's the wrong one. All right, let's see if our team actually uses it. Nah, they're not gonna use it. We pulled in our assault. Our team works kind of shoddy. Not gonna lie, it's not terrible. It's definitely not great. Doing a pretty good amount of damage, but Wraith is also doing a pretty good amount of damage. The one plus about fighting Wraith, any damage you do to her is really detrimental. Like, it, it is really, really strong. Using that one, let's go there. Take the teleporter. Take the teleporter. Take it. There you go. Oh god. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Put that right back. Oh uh, god. I was not looking too good. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. I forgot that two of our teammates were dead. Is he leaving? Okay, he's leaving. Not a bad... I thought a bad... Tr yeah. <laughs> Monster's like, okay. That wasn't that was not smart of us. Honestly, did not expect to be right in front of the monster. Just hoping to cut him off, and I did not take into my teams. Uh, we're still dead, so not bad. So yeah, Kala can be helpful or not. <laughs> Sorry, team, not bad. But most of the time, she's not exactly helpful. So yeah, he's probably gonna get stage three right now. We have whole team's got two knocks, except for myself and the assault. So it's got one knock. I don't have a single knock, because I was able to teleport out. No one else did. The monster has evolved. Relay <laughs> I didn't expect to go like off front of him either. Okay, so we can yeah, go to the pipes. Pretty much when it comes to this map, always go to the pipes. These pipes, especially in the tournament, highlighted so well just how good it is to fight monsters on these pipes. Especially against Goliath. Goliath stage three, I feel, just has zero chance on this on at these pipes fighting here. So actually, I'm going to do this preemptive here. Because we don't need these teleporters to catch them anymore. I should put one right here. Okay, that one's going to hide right there. I don't think our... Okay, we need to go over there. So if we drop the dome, my idea is that the dome... That that you know, teleporter will be outside the dome. Markov is not understanding the plan. Okay, perfect. Okay, put this one right there. Okay, where is he? Got the right one. Take the teleporter, take the teleporter, take the teleporter. 
Well. Uh, that's pretty much all we could do. Yeah. Two knocks is two knocks. Maybe I should have gone cooldown reduction. Cooldown reduction probably would have been a hundred times better in this situation, especially. I think my teleporters were pretty good, though, honestly. All right, we die together, man. Get over here. Oh God. He's going back to the relay, I think? Ah, it's not. No, we don't have enough time for this. He's gonna go straight for the relay. We got a minute 24. He's dead. All right, time to die like a man. I'm not gonna teleport. There's no point in teleporting. Okay, maybe there's now a tele. Okay, they destroyed it. GG. Not bad. But, yeah. I don't know. Kala's okay, but she doesn't really contribute much in a fight. Armor Reducer helps a lot. But I, kinda, I think a kind of our teammates or teamwork was all over the place. Our Trapper died by himself twice. Not really helpful, but it is what it is. Not bad, I enjoyed it. Almost did 10,000 damage with the Sired Missiles, which is really good, honestly. Use teleport at 13 size, but yeah, teammates hardly use it. Sired Missiles are pretty dang good, not gonna lie. Armor Reducer is not bad either. But uh, yeah, pretty much Kala in a nutshell. She either works really well or doesn't work really well. Let me know what you guys think. S tier or not, you know, D tier maybe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. Leave a like on the video. Helps the YouTube algorithm gods. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.